nestled in the hills east of Irvine, stands the original homestead of the Neubauer family built back in 1910. Philip and Caroline Neubauer came to Canada as Germans from Russia looking for a new beginning. The two farmed this land and started a new life. Now, over a hundred years later, the farm still lies in Neubauer hands. My husband Mark and I are the current owners of this land and he's a fourth generation farmer. So what is really exciting for us is, uh, is that we've now taken over the original homestead and we'll be farming and running this land um, that has only ever been owned and farmed by Neubauers. The barn and house constructed in 1910 are still standing and also on the land is Clover Hill School, which was built in 1913 and operated until 1945. The Neubauers are now restoring these buildings so they can keep alive a part of their family history. The most important thing for my husband and I um, is that we can, we can capture and save uh, the buildings that are here at the farm. When we look around, Mother Nature is the boss. In the end, she has the final say. And at this point in time, she's really looking to reclaim some of these buildings. Um, they're wooden structures that you know were built before the uh, development of things like pressure-treated wood. So basically what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna apply tin and, and siding and new roofing so that we can keep them in as close to their original state as possible. Um, it also will give our kids um, something to look forward to as they get older, should they plan to pursue a career in agriculture, we want to be able to pass this on to them. Uh, they're, they live in a very unique situation in that they truly know where they came from. And we think that this is such a treasure and such an important piece of our heritage. Um, it's not unique. Uh, the Neubauer family homestead is just one of many homesteads across uh, southeastern Alberta that uh, were built and carved out of the prairie to make way for the great life that we live today. Throughout time, the farming practice and technology has changed drastically. Nicole says as she walks through the farm, she is reminded how farming once was. When Philip and Caroline originally settled here, it was uh, part of the deal for them was to get um, the farmland under cultivation so that they could become active contributing members to society. That way they were growing food to help sustain the populations in the urban centers. Uh, back in those days, um, farming looked a whole lot different than it does now. Of course, they didn't have, um, they didn't have motorized equipment. They used uh, horses to plow the land, to to um, run, uh, run the equipment to do all of the farming activities. So we have some of the original harnesses and yokes and, uh, and as well the, the horse-drawn equipment that was used to, to break this land that's right behind me to uh, get, it, get it under cultivation so that they could start growing wheat crops. So we think that's kind of like a little piece that's frozen in time, um, a pretty firm reminder of uh, the hard work, the sacrifices made, and really honestly just how lucky we are and how we, good we have it today. The New Hours hope to have their restoration project done by the end of summer. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Leanne Evans.